All right, so this is session three. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like your hair, by the way. Have you had it done? Thank you. Yeah, I've had it dyed um, just to pick up a bit more yeah. of the red in my hair, a little bit like of a it. refresh. Yeah, the suit yeah. green. All you. right. So how are you? Because I've been thinking about you since the last session, because it was almost like at the end, it was like, oh, OK. <laughs> and we were opening up something and then it was like the end of the session. So I've been uh, thinking about yeah. you since then. Um, I just obviously want to see where you want to take this session tonight and what's been coming up for you over the last week. Um, I don't, if I'm honest, I don't really remember how we left the end of last. I didn't, I don't think I felt like things were being opened up at the end of the session. I, I think I felt like it was fine and closed, you know. Right. Um, to the point where I think basically the session finished and then I was like right and kind of just and then I've just been full pelt since then. <laughs> Tell me what's been going it's on. Been, it's all good stuff it's just been really busy and yeah. uh, manageable and some things like usually as I've said a lot I think I said a lot at the beginning that things tend to drain but mm. like it's less draining and more kind of um energy bringing Good. but to the point where the last couple of nights I've hardly slept <laughs> oh no yeah I'm so used to every night just going as soon as my yeah, head hits yeah. the pillow but when that we had that really stormy night yeah normally I love rain and normally I sleep right through it but it, I think it kind of something in the autumn equinox activated something in me and I was just like yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, do you know, it's so funny. Yeah. A lot of people have said that. Yeah, and I've just been really hot at night. The last couple, like more than usual the last couple of nights, like waking up soaked in sweat. Yeah. And yeah, so something's going on. So I feel a bit, the last couple of days I felt a bit frazzled, but more because I haven't slept very well than I'm not in control of what I'm doing, if that makes yeah. sense. That's so, but no, I've had, I've, I've I've had a good, uh, yeah, it's just over a week, isn't it, since we mm. last spoke, but, but um, just busy, just busy, just busy, and I've realised I haven't done that form, the, the last one you sent. It's fine. Um, and I, I just, I was just reflecting on that and thinking that's interesting, and how much, how much, because I feel like I'm doing the work in between, with, in between us talking, but yeah. just not, but. I think mm, I'm trying to say this in a non-arrogant way I think I'm taking it from what we're talking about and then I'm able to apply it without necessarily having to write it That's, does that make sense yeah, yeah. then I think the thought of filling in a form it just it's a bit like it feels a bit like a tick box exercise rather than it's helping me figure out what yeah I need to do Although I did like that chart that you had at the end of the last one, and I'm yeah, definitely going like to use that. that. Yeah, I'm going to use that. I'm going to fill that in. Because I think cause that's very kind of clear. Yeah. Not that the other things aren't clear, but the other things are a bit more like, let's reflect and yes. see what's there. And I just, yeah. yeah. So I think I think that's quite honest. I'm being honest with myself about that. Good, I'm glad. Um, this is and with you. <laughs> yeah, no, Rather I than that. just filling it in for the sake of it. No, because this is... Oh, just lost connection. Hang on a second. Do, do, do. Just lost you for a minute. Hopefully, I'll get you back. Oh, oh hello. there you are. Sorry, I lost you for a second. All right. Then. Yeah, froze. Don't know no, what happened. This is yeah. this is about you. Um, at yeah. the end of the day, you know, uh, it's got to work for you. It's not about it working for me. I want it to work for you. Um, mm. so. I like yeah so you like the visual so that's really good feedback and you know you're so right like the work happens in between our sessions you know we will have a conversation and that's where the things can come you know be brought to the surface mm. that's not where the work happens like the work happens in your sleep even you have to apply it don't you yeah, yeah the work happens when you allow that to be processed and not like suppress it you know so mm. so you're dead right the work happens in between and yeah 
you know, I'm very much the same as you. I'm very much of a mental person. I'll process things in my head, then I'll put it into practice. Uh, so mm. it's absolutely fine that you don't like techniques per se. Some people do and some people don't. And I totally appreciate your honesty on it. But it's there for you anytime you want to be. Yeah, on. thank you. So tell me about your like wins this week. Because let's, let's just trace mm -hmm. it back a little bit. So the beginning yeah. session that we had, it was all about kind of energy management, wasn't it? It was a bit like, mm. it felt like you were sacrificing yourself a bit. You kind of giving too much energy away. There wasn't yeah. time for you. Um, yeah. We talked about that and boundaries and things. And you saw, you know, the, the avatars that you had, the two different parts of, of you. Um, mm. And one was this very much the Gaia energy, the healing energy. Um, the nurturer and that's absolutely what you bring it sorry I got you back that's what you bring into your sessions but you were kind of mm -hmm. feeling like your sessions were becoming a little bit erratic not erratic but your head was you weren't being able to get yeah. your energy in the right way because of everything else that was going on within you behind mm. the scenes so just tell me what shifts reflecting back you feel that you've mm -hmm. made personally I think massive ones really because I think career-wise uh, with yeah being a therapist and that kind of part of my life I've felt over the last especially over the last week and a half but just generally from the start of this term which is uh, pretty much when we started I think so it's it was a good time um, I've, I actually feel like a drama therapist now and not like someone you know <laughs> filling in forms and saying how do you feel you know and the work I'm seeing happening with the kids I'm working with is going on leaps and bounds and they're like there they're in the space this afternoon and a couple of other times as well but quite strongly this afternoon I felt the um, somatic transference the, the kind of tingly mm -hmm. head I get um, so yeah meaning I'm more attuned to clients I suppose so yeah it's been good in that way it's been good um, and I think what else to say without going into client stuff? Yeah, just just feel just I just feel like a drama therapist now. Yeah, than, well done. yeah, I'm actually doing drama therapy sessions. I know that sounds really weird because I've been in the job since April, but I think and I think a few people said that in the job as well that they didn't really feel like they were doing their role until they got their head around all the paperwork and were able to take a bit of a step back and kind of. You know, so I guess that's part of the natural. And interestingly, a drama therapist joined our team uh, only a couple of weeks ago, and you can see they're in that. They're really struggling, and they're really experienced drama therapists, but yeah. they're very much in that yeah, still. And I kind of, I'm a bit like, I see it now, and there's no point in trying to not be rude, but offer them any help because that is just how it is. <laughs> and then, yeah. and then, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um. So that was quite interesting. And then seeing that person who I know is more experienced than me, but still in that mm. kind of can't quite do my job and my role because of all this other stuff. So now I feel all the other stuff's a bit more, you know, um, felt a little bit frazzled yesterday because it, because of the way the day structured it, it only takes like one or two extra conversations with staff members for your whole day to be knocked out. Yeah. So I've gotten a little bit behind, but really only a small amount. And I do actually feel on top of it. Um, I told you about that member of staff who just doesn't like to leave yeah. the room when I get there. Well, <laughs> pretty much just ignoring them now. <laughs> okay, well done. <laughs> she, she knocked on the door at the end of the day today and I was writing my notes and I was quite deep in notes. Yeah. She's like, oh, can I just come in and get my bag? Well, she didn't mean come in and get my bag. She meant come in, get her bag, sit down, talk, do some work answer the phone mm. anyway she did it and I just ignored her and blocked it out and she was trying to engage and I just was silent and then on the way out I was like have a nice week you know I'm still civil and then she started trying to go into something or other what her husband's going to cook her for dinner and I went okay bye and just left <laughs> so I'm getting a bit better at just being like <laughs> Well done, well oh. done. And then the big thing, because that's my job part of me, but the big thing, I think I mentioned, I definitely did at the beginning about roller derby and how yes. um, the yes. things I re that I realised yes. that some of the patterns I had were stopping me 
uh-huh. from enjoying that. Yeah, yeah. Well, on Sunday, I went to a boot camp that was five hours. Wow. Five hours of, oh, um, of skating. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, of like training. Hell. And I just completely smashed it and I was really proud of myself. Like I got <laughs> loads of personal bests. I was the only one wow. who was still standing at the end of the day that everyone was flaked out on the floor and I could have done <laughs> another two hours. Oh my God. Like, yeah. So that's the girl then, who was like struggling yeah. with their energy like a couple of yeah. years ago. That is bloody brilliant. Well done, you. Thank you. It was well, I also think it was partly helped by the fact that our league um were about to play London in the finals for the British champs and um, we knew they were going to win yeah. so me and the other one from our league were just really hyped yeah because, hyped up yeah you know when there's like a kind of cultural energy shift of like yeah. everyone's excited da, da, da. so they were there winning that and they did they beat London by like 120 points or something ridiculous <laughs> and um and and we were there right at the bottom of kind of the training level but still doing really well and the only two that were like going I was like the quickest in three different things out of everyone. Not that it was a race, but I've just got a yeah. my competitive edge now, which is nice. <laughs> and then and then we watched the game for a bit, me and this other girl who I drove us. And then we came back because our usual session with our league, um, we didn't have any coaches, but we had the hall. So we decided, because we're ridiculous, to yeah. go and use that time to do a bit more skating. Wow. So we went there and there were some people there who are just find their energy very draining and very toxic. They're very rude to the coaches right. um, and just just really negative. And I realised even then I was skating around and I could hear them bitching about something or other to do with the league. And I just thought, oh, I just don't need this. Um, and then even, you know, I went, this was a big telling thing. We went to leave and... Um, Oh, how do I say this in a shortened way? Well, as part of the skills test, you have to be able to skate 27 laps in five minutes of the sports hall, which is quite a lot. Yeah. And last time I got someone to even bother counting my laps, I was on like nine, so very low. And I just haven't bothered since. I've just been sort of, you know, working on skating and yeah. not falling over. And this time I got someone to count them and I was at 18 and a half. So I've gone up a lot. Mm-hmm. And so when we left some of them were like oh you know how was the boot camp and I said and I said about that and the one who's really negative turned around and went if you if you pass minimum skills before me I'm going to be so fucked off and I was just like like I'm just seeing it more just pushing it back these like little pockets of negativity and you know I just went I actually said okay well I won't so never mind but in my head I was like I really want to now (laughs) I want to pass before you just for that comment like it's just people trying to literally trying to put you down isn't it so that they can feel better and it's just like why are you wasting your energy on that instead of just bettering yourself you should be only in competition with yourself not That's someone else it. you're always going to get this uh oh, it's yeah. nature. um you're always going to get it you don't gen- sometimes you know we, we can interpret things and they might not mean it that way, but you're always going to have that anyway from whoever. Uh, yeah. so it's definitely about your energy management. So let me ask you, how have you been feeling? I know you've been tired because of the lack of sleep, but in general, how have you been feeling when you've been waking up in the morning? What have been your first thoughts? I've definitely felt more energized in the morning and more like when my alarm's gone off, I've been a bit more like get up and go, you know, and a couple of times I've woken up before my alarm. And I've actually made myself get out of bed and then been able to kind of not rush in the morning and stuff. Still been a bit late to work a couple of days, but I can't be asked. you know. Yeah. (laughs) It's fine. But what about Um, the feeling of dread that you had? Where's that? Oh, yeah. I don't don't think it's there anymore. Good. Uh, No, but I knew that that would go hand in hand with getting on top of things a bit more. Definitely, definitely. You know. So it is strange because although I'm tired through lack of sleep and normally normally I get more sleep than I have because on Saturday I volunteered at the British Champs. So I was there all day. Sunday I was skating all day and then I've been working. So I've had yeah. no time to just chill out. Wow. But I still feel I still feel pretty good. So pretty good. you know, um I'm aware of like imp- impending things that need doing and sorting and there's still a big bit of a question mark over the house. Yeah. Um, 
uh, yeah, that was a that was a bit tricky to navigate because since I last spoke to you, we, in fact, yeah, actually, I think these sessions helped me let go of something a little bit because my partner was saying I think we should look at other houses in case this one falls through. I think I said this to you. Oh, I don't know. Um, and I, I spent some time thinking about it, and then I did some uh, oracle cards, and well, just one actually. I just decided to pull one. And it was about um, letting go of like limiting, lim uh, removing limitations. I can't remember the exact phrasing, but um, and it was basically saying opportunities are in front of you, but you're, you know, the, you're stopping yourself from receiving them. So that made me think, okay, let's look at some other houses then. So we did. Uh, there was one that was all right. So I booked in a viewing, but then within that time before I had the viewing. We got told that our vendor had um, had an offer accepted on a house. There is no chain, is empty, so it's going forward. So we're still a bit sceptical and we're a bit, you know, I won't feel settled until we're in the house, I think. Yeah. But I just thought it was interesting that weirdly making a decision and a decision to look elsewhere mm. seemed to energetically make that move along I feel because yeah it was literally in the space of an hour like mm. I confirmed the booking and then I went into an event that I was speaking at and an hour later mm. I turned my phone on and they were like oh the vendors had an offer accepted your house is fine I thought well that's weird oh, wow. different agents you know nothing connected um so yeah strange I think how these things can work definitely so yeah. it sounds like you you're making great shifts like um what do you think has been the biggest insight or breakthrough that you've had so far from having the sessions and yourself? I guess kind of, obviously I've always known this, but it's kind of a reminder if anything, and actually, yeah, that the only person that can do these things is myself. And yeah. uh, so I have to do it. I have to put the work in and that work, putting the work in doesn't, necessarily have to mean it feels like hard work if that makes sense it doesn't have to feel like that but it is work in terms of changing a thought or changing a, changing a thought pattern or changing the way you relate to someone else and yeah so it was just it's just been good to be reminded of that because I preach it all the time really as a therapist but yeah, but um, that, it's it's it's, it's like, really hard to live it. Yeah. yeah, you need somebody to reflect it all back to yeah. you and to help you make that shift. Yeah, and that's been really helpful. Thank you. It is. No, it's yeah. my pleasure to be able to to be that reflector for you to help mm. you make the shift because it's not me doing the work. It's it's you having to listen to yourself, mm. making that inner personal commitment to yourself, and actually acting on it, which is like massive steps because we can all go oh well mm, yeah I don't like where I am but actually I can't be bothered doing anything about it anyway mm. and stay stuck and that's what a lot of people do they might not like yeah. where they are but actually staying there is a bit more comfortable than putting the effort in to internally mm. making those shifts so, you, so mm. you've done that which is brilliant um, and I think that I loathe that as well I think I said early on that I really just hate that quality something I'm really uncomfortable with people kind of moaning about themselves and not changing it yeah um, and then because I don't like that quality that's prevented me from making changes before if that makes sense because because I don't I haven't hadn't allowed myself to and I've got to do this in, to moan about things you know but actually this has enabled me to moan or at least yeah. discuss so that I can change it so that you know and again, it seems ridiculous and ironic because I'm a therapist. So I encourage people to moan about this stuff so that we can change it. But, you know, so I'm sure you're the same. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Easier said than done. Yeah. Of course. You're like, la, da, 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 da. Yeah. This will help you in your life. But am I going to do it myself? No. Of course. <laughs> you know, the, the people closest to me, you know, when I'm going off on one, I'll say, I thought you were a life coach. You should know better. You know, and I'm like, just emotions are like up the wall yeah so well, yeah. funny it's funny you should say that because I've been thinking about my sister a lot because she I won't go off on too much of a tangent but she was dating a, a guy 
who she had a lot in common with, or still is sort of a uh, lot in common with, but he's a therapist. Um, and but a body psychotherapist, so dancer, they have that bit in common. But she rang me the other day um, about some concerns about how he's been communicating with her. And it sounds actually quite, quite sadistic. And um, he's basically playing the trump card of I'm a therapist, so I know these things. So therefore, your feelings are invalid. It's really quite nasty. Whether he means to or not, he's not able to recognise his own shit. Wow. And it makes it worse. And um, yeah, it's quite quite strong. So I obviously had quite a strong combined sister and ethically therapist um, reaction to that. But it, that was a couple of days ago. And so I have been thinking about kind of our responsibility of having the roles we have and our responsibility of being able to switch that off to just yeah. be ourselves and be in touch with our feelings and communicate as a bloody human being you know what yeah so we're, we're a human being before we're a therapist yeah we're human beings through and through therapy is yeah we were in the right content um and even though we're therapists we're not we're not god we don't know what's right for someone and no valid to their own feelings and opinions yeah no. so that's that had me thinking about that the last couple of days because yeah it's it's a really fine line i think in, in the kind of roles we're in I think isn't it of not stepping into ego mm -hmm. with ourselves as well and saying oh I know I know what's going on I know what's going on I don't need to change these things because I'm a therapist so automatically yeah. my life is fine That's you know it's about Having, transformation yeah. change and growth and whichever way it mm. comes into your life you know but you're mm. responsible for, well yeah, yeah well you're responsible for your choices you might not see mm. something coming um, but you're definitely responsible for your choices and might not feel like that at times, but you know, ultimately you are. Um, let me ask you then, just before I ask you another question, but uh, if you were to tap into an archetype, you know, the energy that we talked about, the character, the movie, the avatar, yeah. who do you feel now, like what's surrounding you right now? I definitely feel more in the Gaia energy, definitely, yeah. Brilliant. I still feel like she needs a, she, I am not sure, needs a bit more space and time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't know how I can magic more hours in a day. Mm -hmm. But I think that will come because, I mean, it already is. I'm having very full days, but they're, mm -hmm. I'm not looking back over the day and being like, where is that whole day gone? You know, I'm, I'm getting more into the time. So I'm, I'm doing more with my hours. I'm, on top of my work and having some time for myself I'm having time for myself but more in like fun stuff if that makes sense and doing yeah, things yeah yeah so I want I would like to be able to build in some time for relaxation and reflection a bit more yeah but yeah. I am happy that I've been able to you know find the time and energy to do some fun things too because well, that's a bit yeah so yeah, so yeah definitely more in that energy and I think it's just I think it will just keep going now. So good, 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 good. I'm glad. Like the other one actually feels quite distant. Actually, when I look back, I'm a bit like, oh, I can't believe that that came through so strongly. Actually, that was very strong. That was so powerful. At the beginning, you said it. Yeah. Wow, that's that can't get much more powerful than than that. Yeah, and it obviously struck a chord with me, and it upset me that that was still around. I think. Mm. but I've been able to actually do something about it this time whereas before I've maybe felt a bit stuck with it I think stuck with it yeah 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 I get, yeah. That. I get that well, well done you and Thanks. you know you've sh you've just shown well done you too thank you <laughs> it's been my pleasure just to facilitate yeah. absolutely um mm. as I've, I've really enjoyed working with you it's been great you know you, you give me great feedback you're putting in action you you're, you're a willing participant you know you show up and you're ready to like work with it so i'm really I'm, I'm really glad to have met you and and to do this with you so thank you uh, where yeah. would you like to go with the session it's totally up to you if you think you know what we've kind of done enough then i'm happy just to i don't know if you want me to pull cards or if there's something specific that you want to work on today no i think maybe just just some cards please yeah <laughs> Because I, I don't I don't really go to other people for card readings. It's quite interesting. I do it myself because there's so many people I don't trust. There's a lot of people out there. And it's just, you just think, you know, and also you, well, not so much them, but their energy and what they're bringing to that card set and your energy. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, I think because I 
as I say, I feel like I, I know what, what other shifts need to happen, but it'd be nice to see in here what okay, so the cards say. I'm going to get some other cards. I'm going to be a minute. Okay. I thought I brought them in, but I don't think I did. So, one second. Thanks. I have that archetype deck and I don't actually use it that much. Yeah, it's it interesting. It's a good, it is good, but it's just interesting which ones you're sort of drawn to at different times. It is. I'm always drawn yeah. to different ones to different people. I just kind of go, go with the mm. instinct on it now. Okay. Oh, how gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so the first card I picked up was this. Mm -hmm. How lovely. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean to you, do you think? Well, they're telling us some kind of story to children, I think. I'd like... I'd like to say passing on with some wisdom rather mm -hmm. than teaching, if that makes sense. Yeah, I love that oh, card. Mm. Yeah, it's really lovely. I really like that. Um, what's the What's with the circle around him? Yeah, I don't know. Is is the honest answer? These are just up for interpretation. Uh, it's like a window. I don't know how you'd interpret that. To me, it's like a window. Mm. He seems like a very uh, philosophical, spiritual, mm. wise person, storytelling, sharing wisdom, mm. enlightening children's lives. And, and I guess that's kind of the work that you do, isn't it? Yeah. But I don't know if you noticed, there's like a fish with a rainbow. Oh, it's a fish. I thought it was a butterfly in the water or something. Oh, it's a fish, yeah, okay. A fish with a rainbow. With a rainbow. Mm. Which water represents emotion. Mm. Well, I can feel myself about to cry when you showed me that. I thought it was really nice. Really? <laughs> yeah. Such a nice card. I really like that. And obviously there's a dove as well sat by him. Oh, so it's a dove. It's yeah. such a, like, a loving. Peaceful, loving, card. yeah. Yeah, I love that. Um, and then I got this. <laughs> 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 oh. And that's kind of like how you're describing yourself at the minute. Gosh. Like, so they look quite for the well, they look more forceful than I feel maybe, I don't know. It's, it's quite an intense image. <laughs> but maybe I have been going full force, well, I have been going full force really, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you've done like, um, you know, you've done a complete turnaround really from when I first, when we had that first session. And the archetype there was so so strong. You felt you you felt a bit powerless. It seemed like you felt mm. like powerless and a bit trapped. Mm. Um, and you know, you said you wake up every day with dread and like you just don't know how you're getting through the days and stuff. And now you're like, I'm actually enjoying my job. I feel like <laughs> I'm becoming a drama therapist, and you're having more fun in your life. Do you want me to pull an archetype card or? Sure. my god start to get myself a bit confused so if i do that i, I kind of like use this to okay sometimes my head can go a bit oh which one Okay, so <laughs> Samaritan, <laughs> it's called. And I can send you the pictures of these. So the light attributes refine your capacity to help those you would prefer to ignore. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I don't know where that's showing up, but um, to be honest, when you manage, when, when we start to manage our own energy, we have more capacity mm. to give to others in a way that we, we can, we can give in a way that is, comes from empathy and understanding mm. to other people that we might, like it says, we might rather ignore. I think that's interesting because um, obviously with transference with children, uh, with, with clients you work with, being aware if, you know, within that space, if you feel comfortable with them, if you like them or not, and because it's all information of how others in their life might feel. And majority of the time, I... I really do see the good in children and I love being in that space with them. You know, there was one child recently and I, I found him annoying, but I knew that that wasn't me finding him annoying. It was me picking up on how everyone else does because he's got no friends, you know, to do all of this. So, but there's a child I started working with. I've only had two sessions with him and I, I cannot stare to be in a room with him for an hour. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. so it's interesting that that's come up but, but I don't berate myself for it I used to just I used to think oh gosh what is that and we're supposed to da 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 but actually it's all information like is that my response or is that how others are feeling and I'm picking up on that or is that how he's feeling about being in the space of me you know mm -hmm. so that's quite comforting to hear that because obviously I've got supervision next week and I was definitely going to start with yeah. that but um that's quite comforting to hear that because I think it takes a certain amount of resilience and self-reflection to reflect on the ones you don't want to work with Definitely. more than the ones you do. Yeah. I just really, I don't know what it is about this kid. I don't know if it's their energy. It's, so, it's something in their energy. It's, it's different from other things. I don't know what it is, but obviously I'm not doing spiritual energy work, so I can't do too much about that. But um, yeah, I have to just come at it from a psychotherapeutic route, but we'll see. But, so that's that's quite comforting though so yeah well yeah. i'll send you a picture of those cards um, thank you just so you can just see what if you get any more information and i think those um mm -hmm. those the first two cards the parts cards parts mm -hmm. of the psyche you know really do reflect like your transformation so keep them as reminders and affirmations and look at them <laughs> and mm, see you. what information you get from the cards as well because it's your interpretation that matters mm. all right so anything you want to end the session on oh i feel a bit weird because <laughs> it's been nice to have someone else it's been more than nice as a shit word it's been really helpful good nourishing supportive to have someone mm. else to talk to mm. um because supervision is different it's still it is about me a bit but it's about the clients and it's about my specific job and my role and all of that um but it's just been really good to have these sessions it's been really yeah really enjoyed them and got a lot out of them good well that's um, the thing isn't it about coaching you know people don't mm. really understand what it's about you know, it, it's an unregulated industry, so it could be about bloody anything, depending on yeah. the, on the coach you go to. You know, um, but uh, but I appreciate that feedback, and the whole purpose of doing these sessions was to let other people know, hey, look, this is what it's for, and yeah. this is what it can provide you with, and actually, this is what you can get from it if you're willing to kind of put the work in yourself. It's mm. helped me massively, and it continues to help me. It's invaluable, in fact, in my life. Mm. I can't do without it, really. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that it's really helped you. And like I say, I'm just glad to have been part of it for you. Obviously, you know, there's no such thing as the thing. People's paths are meant to cross at the right time. So I genuinely believe that. So mm. thank you for the time that you've put in and all the stuff that you've had to do in between, which is putting all this stuff into practice. Has, it hasn't felt like work, though. As I say, I've mostly been like okay bye and then yeah sort of got on <laughs> consciously got on with my week but it has been happening yeah it's been happening and yeah. i i don't think that that wouldn't have been just by myself i've needed 
your input into that for that yeah. to happen is it so yeah thank you there's, I think the thing is like if if you want to change it's almost like you give yourself a green light and it's like okay just just, just go just do it now just mm. like, make it happen wherever it's going to happen let it happen and it's, it is about letting that healing in really mm. so I'll send thank you a you. picture of these cards and then anything you need or any other questions just get back to me okay thank you thanks right, very much take care Bye. see you soon you too. Bye. Bye. Bye.